Hi, Tammy. Hi. Your sister says she's gay and that's it. Why can't you believe her? I think she can get her a man. Have she doesn't children. want a man. I know I can get a man, but I don't want no man. <laughs> I hate it. What you're missing. Well, I know what I'm missing, but I know what I'm getting, too. Get you a man. I'm getting mine. I've had a lover for five years. I must be doing something right. You've had men, too. No. Yes. No. You hey, Tammy, had why a is it so important to you that she be straight? outside. Well, she came out with it a long time ago, and... I had tried to accept it, but it's so hard to just see her be gay. No, you, you just know? you just think whenever I'm in the same room with you that I'm looking at uh, you like I want you. Is that true? Tell me, are you afraid that she's making eyes at you? No, I just get a I get a funny feeling. You got I the wrong one. Okay, if you had a brother, would you be looking at him? No. Then why would you think she'd be looking at you? Well, because she looks at me funny. I mean, you I know what you're looking at. I am I funny, funny anyway. I mean, funny. Why should I brush it? I think you're looking at me. I don't think so. I mean, Tammy, I'm sure if we, if, we, if we all knew what everybody did behind closed doors, we would look at everybody else funny. You, you know, know it. it's true. When you see a gay person, Ricky, automatically, most of the straight people I've talked to, when they see a gay person, they don't see the person that you are. They see and think about what you do in your bedroom with your gay girlfriend. <laughs> they don't look at the person inside that you are. Mm -hmm. I bleed when I get cut. I have arms. I have legs just like you, just like her, just like anybody. I just have a different frame of mind. And I love women. And she should accept that. She's going to have to. It's hard. I mean, it, I mean, I'm sure hard. it is hard. It's got to be hard. Maybe from, you know, you where you come from, people aren't out of the closet are. like they should be. Being gay is the hardest you thing you can be. Nobody twist your arm for you to be gay. No, 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 wait a minute. Your arm for you to be Tenny, straight. nobody <laughs> gave you the option to be gay or to be it straight. It was never a choice to me. It was always there. I mean, it I was wasn't your choice, choice to grow up with blonde hair. I don't know if that's your natural color or not, but no. But no. no. So can you understand? It's not, Ricky. It's bleach. It's not, Ricky. Tammy, Can you nobody, understand that it's nope. not a choice? Why would somebody choose to As be gay? As my brother-in-law says, I'm a wannabe blonde. So. Okay, but we're getting back to the, to the being <laughs> well, gay or I'm straight. I'm a wannabe gay and I am gay. Why would anybody want to choose to be gay? I have no idea. You don't have the option. That's, I'm, that's the point I'm trying to I get I knew when I was at. 12. I don't know if you're, I mean, I don't know if it's. See, Tammy, you did not choose to be heterosexual. Have you ever been with a woman? She, that's, how, that's how it is for her. Hey, hey. What you feel in your heart is what Yo. she feels in her heart. Have you ever been with a woman? Come on, we all have you away. And you was with a woman. Well, you... Tell oh. I did not say I was with a woman. All right, all right. Ask her if she's ever been with a woman. You just asked her yourself. Have you ever been with a woman? I mean, no, I have not. Girl, I'm moving because lightning's fixing to hit you I dead. <laughs> Shoot. Michelangelo, can you educate her? First off, nobody said that you have to accept this overnight. You said it's hard, and it's that's hard. absolutely right. And that's what, what mom here and sister here needs to know, too. It is difficult. Nobody said that you have to accept it overnight and that, that you have to immediately just suddenly be, you know, Ms. Pro-Gay. But you can try. And I don't think you're really trying, because by saying that she can change, you're not even trying. You're not even going out there and saying, okay, I'm going to accept it and I'm going to work toward 
accepting you. I'm going to learn what gay is all about. Because, you know, everything that you believe gays and lesbians are is really distorted by the media, by people around you, by old wives' tales, by a million different things. And you need to educate yourself and learn. And you can accept it over time. It's not going to happen overnight, but it will happen over time. All right. Yes, ma'am, what do you have to say? First of all, I think that... Um She's afraid to come out of the closet herself, and she's jealous that she's being very honest about it. Two, two, that's your son. You should love him no matter what. And I feel that you're just embarrassed of him, and now you have to face it. He's gay. Whoa. Coming up next, her brother, sister, and her cousin say there's no way she's gay because she was married and had many different boyfriends. But she says it's not a phase, so they better get over it. They phase off, and we come back. Don't go away. talking to people who are devastated because their families won't accept the fact that they're gay. Joining us now is Christina. She says she has no doubt in her mind that she is gay. And just because she was married doesn't mean that her brother, sister, and cousin should be convinced that she isn't gay and she's here to confront them today. Now before we hear from Christina, let's take a look at what her brother, sister, and cousin said before the show. I think my sister's going through a phase. Um, if we found her a good man and she forgot about her past, she can move on. Christina, I don't think you're gay. You were normal when you were younger. You were normal as you were growing up. Christina, you're not gay. Get over it. <laughs> Christina, what do you have to say about what they said? They're talking about, like, if I was married for, like, a long time. I got married, and it ended that same night because I was raped by my husband. And I've never well, said... He's not here to defend himself, so right, we can't even I've bring never, that up. I've never said I was against men. They think I'm, like, putting all men down. It's not that. I've been with boyfriends. I've been with plenty of guys. But it's not my attraction. You know, and what they don't know is, for 10 years of my life, I've had a woman on the side, but they never knew about it. So now that I come out, like, a year, year and a half later, you know, they're saying it's a phase. All right. Well, seen me should we meet these up. family members and talk to them? <laughs> guys, come on out here. Christina, she says she's gay. Can you ever get it through your head? No. I don't it's think she really is gay. Through. I really don't because, I mean, the way I feel is she probably went towards that direction because she felt that her own family didn't understand her, uh, didn't love her, just have any uh, uh, affection for her. And in the past, I don't know if she mentioned about 10 years ago, she had a woman in her life for 10 years or whatever it was. But, which, but the way I think is that that person was the one that got her this Got her this No, way. because that She's same person I've been with for 10 years straight, okay? It, was it wasn't just it like was an like experiment that one day. So you're saying, you're saying this woman in her life changed her, made yes. her gay? Yes, yes. We think we do, because she was 14 She had problems adult, also. And this was an experiment she had. Just because I'm 14 doesn't mean I don't have my own mind and my own her. feelings. I know what I want and who I want to be with. Yeah, I mean, she's well, a grown woman. Shouldn't she be able to decide who she is and who she wants to yes, associate with? So She I, has that choice, but we You just... make it sound like she's brainwashed. I think she, she is. is. That's the whole I thing. I think she is. Think people control me, but I control myself. I got to be happy for who I am. I can't go around living my life making brainwashed. So what was it like for you? You know, you, you went and got married to this guy and you kept having these relationships on the side. How did that make you feel? You couldn't come out and be who you were. I was afraid to because of what they would think about, you know, the, you know, our name is like something big, you know, and I was So is this your worst bad. nightmare that they won't accept you for who you are? I'm sorry? Is this your worst nightmare that they won't accept you for who you are? Yeah, because, I mean, they, I'm still the same person inside. That doesn't change me just because I'm gay. We're not saying that, though. We're not saying that. Ricky, Ricky, yes, I have seen her cry. I ha she has, I love them. I, now, how is she going to turn one day to another and say, I'm everything. gay? Well, maybe that was my face. You know, <laughs> it was like... <laughs> 
because she still talks to the guys that she's been out with before, and they still hang out at her house. I think Do you hang out with ex-boyfriends of yours? No, I don't. I don't. So, oh, yes, I do. And yes. My ex-boyfriend was her lover. <laughs> Coming up next, a 14-year-old boy confronts his grandmother, who is his legal guardian, and tells her that she needs to accept him for who he is. We'll be right back. When I'm like in the bathroom and I'm like, you know, primping or something, and you come in, why are you doing this? Why? Why? I don't know why you do this. Are you a girl? You're a boy. Of course I know I'm a boy. people who are desperate for their families to accept that they are gay and that they are not going through a phase. Joining us now is a 14-year-old named Nicholas. He wants his grandmother, who is his legal guardian, to accept him as a gay teenager. He says he's willing to educate his grandmother about his life if she'll just give him the time. Now, before we hear from Nicholas, let's hear what his grandmother, Dorothy, had to say before the show. Well, I don't really know if Nikki is gay or not. I really don't want to believe it. It might be just a phase he's going through, but... Uh, I love him, but I don't quite understand his behavior. It really uh, bothers me sometimes. Nicholas, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel unwanted, like there's something wrong with me. And there's nothing wrong with me. Well, of course there's nothing wrong with you. Let me ask you, I mean, you are young. You're 14 years old. When did you know that you were gay? I've always known that I was gay, ever since I was little, you know. Everybody knows. You think everybody knows is from as early on they, as they can remember? There's a feeling that, that you just get. Uh, it just, it's you, just, you just feel really different you from just, everyone you, else yeah. you know. You kind of like center yourself out from everybody else. All right, well, maybe we can make your grandma understand today. Gra Dorothy, why don't you come on out here? Hi, Dorothy. Thank you for Hi. being here. Nicholas says he knows he's gay, but yet you don't quite believe him? Well, I don't want to. Let's put it that way. I've known <clears throat> for a long time, but uh, I'm getting better. I'm getting more used to it now, I guess. But it took me a... It was hard to take. I would imagine it's hard for you to take, but... Because I've never dealt with anything like this before, and I'm learning more about it. Of course, he says this is the 90s, and get with it, you know? So, <laughs> I'm trying to, but uh, I'm accepting it, and I'm going to make the best of it with him. And do you feel, do you feel guilty like you did something wrong? No, it wasn't me that did anything wrong. You, you know that then. Broken... At least you are, you are smart enough to know that he was born this way. This yes, is who he, was. he is. I knew from the start when he was a little bitty that something was wrong, different. No, About nothing's him. wrong, just nothing's different. Wrong nothing's wrong. Him. Nothing's wrong with him. He was just different. Nicholas, why don't you tell your grandma what upsets you? It upsets me because, you know, when I'm like in the bathroom and I'm like, you know, primping or something, and you come in, why are you doing this? Why? Why? I don't know why you do this. Are you a girl? You're a boy. Of course I know I'm a boy. Who said I wasn't? Well, I think you primp too much, honey. Well, what's uh, wrong? There's nothing wrong no, there's, with that. I don't try not to do that anymore. Though. I look good and I'm proud of it. <laughs> I want to introduce someone in our audience. This is Evelyn Cohen, and you are a developmental psychologist. Is it possible for a 14-year-old to know that they're gay? Absolutely. Children know that they're gay as, at five. If a boy is watching General Hospital, and he wants Luke to love him, he knows he's gay, right? So what can you say to our parents up there today? Uh, that this is the way that children grow up. They, they know that they're gay. Also, when they're five years old, they know they're different, from, that boys are supposed to like girls and girls are supposed to like boys. That happens when they're five, and they begin to feel very ashamed of themselves. Sometimes they don't want to go to school. They stay home from school. They are very shy. They don't have friends. Parents have to let kids talk about their feelings. And Nicholas, can you understand where your grandma's coming from? That why this is really yeah, hard for her but, to understand? Yeah, you but know, I think she should understand because, you know, she's, I've lived with her all my life and there is nothing wrong with me. She's 
we were very close except for when she wants to argue she always has to bring up the issue that I'm gay what's wrong with me I don't know anyone like this why well, says well you've known him for 14 years you know get with it all right yes sir you know the situation with Jason and his mother I really affiliate with it because the same thing happened to me what happened to you I'm gay I'm because of that I, part of that reason um, my mother abandoned me and believe me, it's a very hard feeling to be abandoned and to mourn for your mother I'm and no, during holiday times to feel home. not I'm, wanted, to feel no like way. something's wrong with you, it's really not cute. Hang on, one at a time, guys. Nothing to do with, with anything wrong with him. with him. Then why can't you accept him today? It's not that I can't accept him as being gay. I can't accept him flaunting uh -uh. his behavior and How? being rude and obnoxious. You're contradicting yourself. I'm How not. can I be? You're rude and obnoxious. When You're you... rude and obnoxious. Ah, excuse me. Thank yes, you. you want Thank to finish? Yes, much. just try to understand and love him because you'll get along we much do. better. We do. I try very we, we hard. Love him. Nicolangelo, you want to say something? Question. You know, I think Nicholas's grandma. I mean, they must have their problems together, and we can see it. But I think she's a model for a lot of these other people. Uh, up here. And you know, Ma mom and mom and sister over there are young people, and they've got to really get with it. Grandma has understood oh, this. And accepted it. Thank you. We come back. A gay woman who has a four-year-old child confronts her mother, who is disgusted by her life, and says she needs to find the right man. We'll be right back. What would you do if you knew that your mother disapproved of the way you lived your life? I mean, Christy, she is tired of hearing her mother say that she could, quote unquote, become straight if she found the right man. She says her mother should learn to love her the way she is because she's never going to change. Before we hear from Christy, let's hear what her mom said before the show. I don't believe my daughter's gay. I believe it's just a phase. I think the right psychiatrist and right uh, man could straighten her out. She says the right man, the right psychiatrist can straighten you out. What do you think of that? I don't, no, I don't believe it. I was born this way. And she needs to accept you? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's meet mom. Barbara, come on out here. <laughs> Christy, I don't think your mom heard you. Why don't you say what you got to say? Um... I'd just like to say that uh, I wish he could accept me the way I am. Barbara, can you accept your daughter for who she is? I'll try. You'll try. I think we can let things out. I'm sorry? I think we can let things out. You think you can? Try. Were you listening throughout the show, Barbara? And what did you think of what you heard today? I don't know. But you feel like, are you learning to understand your daughter and where yes. she's coming from? Yes. Michelangelo, can you say something to help her to understand even more? Well, you know, it's, you, you really must have been affected by a lot of what was said here because you've got a very different demeanor than you had in the little taped uh, interview with you before time. And it seems to me that once you have accepted that this is how she is, it's okay for you to feel sad. You should. This is not something people expect of you to get over, uh, you know, overnight. That is normal. But that's where you can move from there, and you can grow, and you can learn to love her as a gay woman, as a lesbian. You can learn to love her and accept her, because she's family, and family is very, very important. You have to stay together. When you look at her, don't, don't try to think about what she does in the bedroom. Look at her as a person. Look at her deep inside. It's your daughter. <laughs> Yes, sir, what do you have to say? I just want to say um, to the two women at the end here with Jason, you better take lessons from Nicholas's grandmother because she lives in a different generation and at least she's trying to accept who he is, the way he is. I have a and question um, to, the, to the expert. Um, does accepting mean that I have to accept that my brother goes to um, gay bars when he's only 16 years old? Does that mean I have to accept him having unprotected sex with older men? So what I, I do in my bedroom behavior? is my business. But does that mean that you're no, digging my business? Nobody's digging it. You're flaunting 
Jason. Yeah, but I, I don't that, fart. My sex you life. You do. But Jason, Jason. Jason. I mean, it's none of my business, but I do hope you're practicing safe sex. Yes, no, he is not. He brags about it. That's why How I you, say he flaunts it. I don't it. brag about nothing. When he gets out, like he when gets I, out around people, can he I says. Another question is, I can accept Jason for he is because when when he's when I'm with Jason, and he's it's Jason, fine. And he's fine, and I accept him, and I accept him for who he is. But the part of him going out to bars, I can't Sorry. accept that. I can't accept him going out and acting like that. It's you're not, not part of it. Why is this shit? Because you know what? You love him for being gay. Well, I want to love him and keep him alive. Okay. That's, well, that's the biggest thing. thing. Then what you need what is, I want to do. Well, then, He's not having safe sex. I'm not keeping him alive. But if you wait, want, if hold you want to keep him alive and you want, then you need to support him and I, love him and be I there for him and talk to him about safe sex. And instead of saying we don't believe you're gay, then you have to have a frank discussion. You can't even get past having a frank discussion with him about being gay. And he still throws him away. He right. still throws him away. Sorry, guys. Got to take a break. When we come back, a man who was kicked out of his own house as a teenager when his family found out he was gay. Find out what has happened to him since. We'll be right back. your house because your parents didn't accept you. That was the case of our next guest, Troy, who was kicked out when his family found out he was gay. Years later, he reconciled with his mother, who is now his best friend, and he says families need to learn to accept and respect their gay relatives. <laughs> Troy, thanks for being here. Tell us your story. What happened to you? Well, basically, like everybody else, I did what I thought I was supposed to do. I had a girlfriend in high school. My junior year, I fell in love with my best friend, who was a guy. I started questioning why I felt for him the way I thought I should have felt for my girlfriend. Um, I freaked out, come from a very Catholic family, confessed to my parish, pr parish priest. He told me about a youth group in Boston called the ba Boston Alliance Gay and Lesbian Youth. I was very lucky. Um, I started going to this youth group. I, lied, I changed my name, lied to everyone, was not out to my family and friends, became very active with the group. I was much like um, Jason, right? I was much like Jason. I wanted to be out there. I was free now. I had been living this lie for so long, and I just wanted to be out there, and I just wanted everybody to know how I was feeling and how horrible I felt and how good I felt now. Well, that gay pride, I was asked to speak on behalf of the youth group, and my picture came out in one of the newspapers. That's how my parents found out. As a result, my parents flipped out, kicked me out of the house. The police, was, the police were called. I was 17 years old. All my friends uh, turned against me or were too afraid to hang out with me because of uh, guilt by association. I come from uh, an immigrant family and they basically said I was being disrespectful. Uh, I wasn't a man. Uh, how could I do this to my family? I was so homeless. What, so what changed? Your mom did eventually accept you. Yeah, that took time. It took months and months of trying to put the pieces back together and understand where she was coming from. At the time, I didn't know this. But now I know, and it took, some, it took talking and listening and arguing with her to figure out that she thought she did something wrong, that it was her fault, that she let me down. Parents have kids and have expectations of their kids and want their kids to become someone. And basically what happens when a kid uh, comes out and says that they're gay, all those hopes and dreams are shattered. And that's something that takes a long time to mend. And luckily now my mother is my best friend. That's terrific. What advice do you have for our families today? I would have to say, I mean, to this family, Jason's uh, family, y you say y you support him for being gay, but yet you're angry with him for being so out about being gay. It's, it's hard, and he it's is... It's in a negative way. If to you, it's well, a negative way. To you, it's yes. negative. I, honestly, if he could go to a gay group and, and talk to other gay teens about it mm -hmm. and do those type of things, like in a town but nearby, in a town nearby, sure. there is a but gay group, and I would even drive him there I agree so he with could you. get there I, to talk to other teens about it. I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%, and there should be organizations like that everywhere. And this should, you know, these things should be everywhere, but unfortunately it's not. And he's, he's in a situation where he's in school there's no one there's probably no one around well okay but with his peers there's probably you know not many of his peers around he's got to like he's just he's just you know he's just exploding he's just like you know doing everything that he wants to do let me just say something to, to our to young people up that. there Jason and Nicholas you guys are 14 and 17 years old I, I applaud you for for being comfortable with who you are and coming out and, and talking about it 
But also, you are only 14 and 17. Just because you are clear on who you are sexually doesn't mean you have to be having sex at such a young age. You can wait. Sure. And one thing before we take a break, Michelangelo, if you can just uh, run off some of the names of the groups that people can get involved. I know PFLAG is one for parents, uh, parents of gay and lesbians. Parents, and friends of lesbians and gays. There should be a local chapter in your area, somewhere nearby. Look it up. Also, if you live in a major city, look up the local gay and lesbian community center, and they'll give you groups. And I think Troy here is a role model. I just want to add that Absolutely. to all gay and lesbian you, and bisexual Troy. youth. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Michelangelo, too. We'll be right back after this. Don't go away. I want to thank all of our guests for being here today and sharing their stories. According to statistics compiled by the U.S. government, by the end of today, five teenagers will commit suicide because they are gay and feel no one in their lives will accept them. Loving your child and family members is the greatest thing in the world to do. So remember, when you love someone, you accept them for who they are. Love your child, love your family, and don't hate people for being gay. Someone in your own home might hear what you're saying and take it the wrong way. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Husk du kan se Ricky Lake hver dag fra mandag til fredag kl. 18.05. Og i morgen arresterer hun sine gjester fordi de er for dårlig kledd. Bli her på TV3 for Twilight Zone.